<laughs> Whenever I do have a boyfriend, I never introduce my son to him as, as a boyfriend. I always say, oh, honey, this is your uncle. <laughs> and then when I break up with a guy, I tell my son, oh, honey, your uncle died. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, because once I had a really good month on OkCupid, okay which means, of course, my son had the worst month of his entire life. <laughs> yeah, he lost 11 uncles. <laughs> and two aunts. And a grandpa. <laughs> but that guy actually died. <laughs> I'm on OK Cupid, and this guy messaged me. I'm 54, and he goes, A 54? Wow, you look 50. <laughs> wow, slow down, sir. Uh, let me take a second and accept this amazing compliment. <laughs> that I look four years younger. Thank you. You look like you'll never be naked in my garage. <laughs> he was, but that's not the point of that joke. <laughs> One time after a show, a guy goes, wow, you're really funny for a woman. Oh. I know, I know. But the next thing he said to me was, wow, you stab really good for a white person. <laughs> Thank you. And you talk really good for someone who's bleeding to death. He just riffed back and forth until he died in my arms. <laughs> I don't mean to get misty-eyed on that one, guys. I wish I had two kids, because then they would hang out together. Like, I am my son's only playmate, you know? His, my whole life, up until recently, he's always focused on me. Mom, you want to play with me? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but we have nothing in common. Uh, I don't like Minecraft. You hate Pinterest. I don't want to fucking play with you. You're boring. I got you Legos. Build something. Build a dad. My son's like, I want a brother. I'm like, honey, I want to date a black guy too, but that's not how you make that happen. My son's best friend is named Marvin Jr. And Marvin was at the house and they played video games for six hours straight without acknowledging me. And I watched 12 episodes of Veep uninterrupted. And I was like, this is the greatest day in my entire life. And then Marvin goes, I gotta go home. And then I spent 20 minutes trying to talk an 11 year old boy into moving in with me. I'm like, please don't leave me, Marvin. Does your mom give you timeouts? What a bitch. <laughs> You'll be Marvin Sr. at this house, I promise you. <laughs> One time I was tucking my son into bed. He goes, Mom, you should have had another baby. I'm like, honey, I didn't even want to have you. <laughs> now sleep tight and happy birthday. had another baby. I did have a miscarriage, but I was 46, so I was like, phew. <laughs> They're not all tragedies, guys. <laughs> but I was still traumatized. I was like, God, why'd you make me pregnant at 46? And God was like, I thought you were four years younger. <laughs> yes. How many kids do you have? One. You have one. Yeah. How old? Too awful. Oh my God. What an awful. Here's the thing. Kids are terrible for, at every age, but for different reasons. And when they're like two, they're, when they, they're toddlers, they shout every single word they say. They're like teeny tiny elderly people. Right? One time my son and I were on a plane, right? He has the window seat. The plane takes off. He starts shouting. Clouds, clouds, mom, clouds, clouds, mom, 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 mom, clouds. That went on for minutes. People on the plane are staring at me. One guy says to his friend, so I could hear it. He goes, "Oh my God, could that kid be any louder?" And I snapped. I go, "Yeah, yeah, he can." Would you like me to make that happen? Because all I would have to do is pull down my kid's window shade. 
If you think clouds is loud, wait till you hear no clouds. We are four minutes into a six hour flight. You wanna dance, bitch? I'll tell him the pilot is a monster. I'll hide his teddy bear. This will be the longest flight of your goddamn life. You will pray we're a Malaysian Airlines flight. Oh, come on, guys. Obviously, I was referencing the first one, not the second one. That's too soon. Have some respect for the dead. 